Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The case of the flame roll on. When we arrived at the school to look at the boiler, the maintenance tech said, Be careful, that thing has some wicked roll on. Don't stand next to it when it fires. How long has it been doing that? I asked. Ever since it was installed. He said the boiler representative sent a few service companies out to try solving the problem, but none did. After the warranty period, they just decided to live with it. I took it as a challenge to find the problem and the solution. I tentatively started the boiler, ready to shut it off quickly, not sure what his definition of a wicked roll-out meant. The burner started with a loud whoosh, and flames rolled out each side of the boiler base. Within seconds, the flame quieted. Visually inspecting the flame, it looked almost perfect. Connecting the manometer, I saw the gas pressure was at three and a half inches, water column, perfect. There was a bit of an anomaly I noticed. The gas pressure was at eight inches water column when the burner started before quickly dropping to three and a half inches. My next step was to check for leakage through the gas valves and found they were not leaking. Looking at the gas valves, I thought it could be the adjustable orifice open too wide. This is used on diaphragm valves to slow the opening speed. The valves did not have one, nor was there a place to install one. The draft was slightly negative and within the parameters set by the manufacturer. Could the boiler flue passages be plugged or restricted? To test this, I placed a trouble light on top of the tubes and used a mirror to look up through. It showed no blockage or restrictions. I checked the safety and operating controls and they worked properly. Each time the boiler started, the flames rolled out. As I was staring at the boiler, I finally saw the problem. The gas pressure regulator was downstream of the electric gas valve. When the gas valve shut off, the gas pressure regulator would open wide, trying to maintain the three and a half inches of gas pressure. When the valve opened, the regulator would self-adjust to the set pressure, three and a half inches. This caused the burner to overfire when the gas valve started. I know what the problem is, I said, smiling. What is it? he asked. I explained the problem and the solution was simple. Just switch the gas valve and the pressure regulator. He chose not to do it as the boiler was almost 20 years old. The lesson I learned is the gas pressure regulator has to be installed upstream of any electric valves to avoid what this boiler was doing. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have my two websites. The Brewing with Steam site has monthly blog posts on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. I have written 11 books on boilers and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you can find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective and I hope to see you on the next case.